As they say in the cowboy stories, I was almost smothered with luck this morning. Not only did I see some very interesting birds, but they were relatively close and conducted themselves as if I weren't around. On a bird photo jaunt to the nearby Eufaula National Wildlife Refuge, I bagged a king rail, an immature black crowned night heron, a male bobwhite quail, and two juvenile purple gallinules. My luck began when I spotted this king rail preening its feathers while it stood at the edge of a small willow swamp habitat. Earlier this summer, on two different occasions, I had glimpsed a rail in this general vicinity, but those birds had been in their move-along mode and they didn't hang around to chat. Today, circumstances and the bird's mood provided me a much better photo opportunity. This bird's fluff feathers seem to belie the old saying, as thin as a rail, as the bird appears broad in the beam and downright bulky. After spending so much time wading in shallow water, clambering about on and squeezing through thick vegetation in its swampy home, perhaps the firm footing and open nature of this spot seems like a visit to a spa for this bird. As a nice segue to our next bird of the day, the black crowned night heron in the background dashed into the water and waded out with a crayfish in its bill. After dispatching the crayfish, the black crowned night heron returned to the water's edge where it took a sip of water and licked its chops. As was the case with the rail, this immature black crowned night heron faced the camera, towed its marks, and performed for the audience. After a short stalk, a quick strike, and another sip or two of water, the night heron flew up to a low perch in a nearby dead shrub. In these perch views, it appears that this black crowned night heron has a skin tear on its right leg. If this is indeed the case, was it the result of a flying and or landing mishap, a squabble, or an escape from a predator? Whatever the circumstances, it is a clear reminder of the tenuous nature of life in the wild. If you are a bird photographer and you have a windshield in your vehicle, you can appreciate the challenge of filming a bird walking towards the front of your car. Such was the case with our next bird, a male bobwhite quail strolling down the gravel road. This bird was tolerant, however, and allowed me to angle my vehicle to the right, just enough to poke the lens out of the driver's window and take its portrait. At the next stop, these two juvenile purple gallinules posed on a close and convenient perch. In my opinion, the old rusty water control structure provides a perfect prop for these birds. While the rusty orange color complements the blue of the water and the beige of the bird's plumage, the structure itself represents wildlife conservation in action. Talk about an optical illusion, here's one where the wing is quicker than the eye. I thought this bird was stretching its left wing and left leg, but instead its right leg comes down. I had to watch this episode again to sort things out. Also, note these birds 10YR5-3 colors, potentially non-hydric, are changing to purple and green glade colors, definitely hydric. close out the day, our young Gallinule stars engaged in a little king of the mountain tussle to remind us that even in nature, kids will be kids. <laughs>